Galois Theater, it's time for the Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoka! was tiring for you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hey, we have a great show. If you're just watching for the first time, you are watching Fox KRBK. This is the Mystery Hour. Nothing's wrong. We're just a local late night talk show. Nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> so we have a great show for you. We have Sandra Morgan with animals from Wild Animal Safari. Yeah. We also have the music of Candy Coburn. Yeah, she's legitimate. She's so legitimate. And I wanted to be sure to introduce something else very important to us. We have a great title sponsor called Crowdit. They're a local crowdfunding site. We made a commercial for them. Have a look. Yeah, we won. Let's tear them down. Just give me a boost. Give me a boost. Give me a boost. A boost. Just give me a boost. Oh, just give me a boost. 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 Uh, a boost! It's a boost! Ah, uh, give me a boost! Just give me a boost. <laughs> give me a boost. Hey, thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, let's just do some things I've noticed. You guys ready? Things I've noticed! <laughs> These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh man, that song. If you want it, it's on iTunes. <laughs> All right. These are things I've noticed. Things I've observed. Maybe you can relate to some of these. Uh, I've noticed. I've started converting all my childhood photographs to black and white to convince my son that I had a harder life than I actually did. <laughs> I've noticed that in the morning, ooh, wool socks sound cozy and warm. In the evening, get these angry furnaces off of me. <laughs> They're angry furnaces. I've noticed that my oven timer counts down to the exact minute and second that I will forget to check the oven. <laughs> I've noticed that any time I put spinach in a smoothie, I imagine my 10-year-old self shaking his head and saying, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> we used to be all about candy. I've noticed that I'm not very fast, and I'm an embarrassing fighter, which is why if I ever meet a cannibal, I'm going to take off my shoes and socks and hope he's heard of the five-second rule. <laughs> so worst case scenario. And finally, I've noticed that sarcasm has never translated well over text. But what you didn't know is neither does the phrase potato, potato. <laughs> That's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Hello. Look at where we are. We have people moving about the stage setting things up because you may be at home and you may be saying, oh, I wish I was watching the Olympics, but I can't find the remote. <laughs> it's happened. That's OK, because we have the Olympics. H-O-U-G-H, <laughs> Olympics.
And our one and only event for the Ho Olympics is everyone's favorite game, Name That Movie! That's right. There are some people assembled here behind me. What's your name, sir? Alec. Alec, and yours? Adam. Adam wants to be here more. Oh, no. <laughs> first point me. <laughs> All right. So uh, we are playing Name That Movie. What is involved in Name That Movie is it's just like Name That Tune. Uh, so when we read a movie line, you have to buzz in. The first person to buzz in gets to answer it. If you get it right, you get a point. The only caveat is the buzzer is you have to go through a hula hoop, grab a pie, and put it in your own face. That's how you play Name That Movie. Get to the back of the curtain. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to stand over here now. Oh, all right. <laughs> In the history of Name That Movie, no one's ever started like it's. <laughs> That's because it's the whole Olympics. You're going for the same pie. Thanks for asking, Adam. All right, your first movie quote is. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> All right. That's Star Wars. Star Wars, very good. Back to the curtain. Alec is up 1-0. Grab a new pie. OK, next one. You don't get towels till afterwards. Next one. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> you just got so cheated. All right, Alec. It was Back to the Future. Back to the Future is right. One more round, just to see if we can get Adam Messy this time. New pie. This one's double or nothing. We aren't really keeping track. OK. All right, here we go. I'm king of the world. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here. Is that Titanic? You got that right. That's how you play Name That Movie. Although Adam got the last one right, Alec wins the unnamed canned food item because we can't afford to show a label. <laughs> we'll be back with Sandra Morgan and Animals from Wild Animal Safari. Hey, uh, we have a great guest slash parentheses S parentheses. Guess. There's no slash in there. That was horrible. <laughs> Our guest tonight is brought to you by a place that is not horrible. Ha! That's right. BYO Pizza. It's not bring your own pizza, it's build your own pizza. Mmm. So the guests are animals, and I just put uh, sausage and pepperoni all over me. <laughs> Sometimes you don't think things through. All right, let's move on. Our guest tonight comes from Wild Animal Safari. She is a person. The others are animals. Give it up for Sandra Morgan and the animals. Come on out of here. How are you? Well, how are you? Yeah? Yeah. I am excited that you brought animals. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You want to point this out? I do. Yeah. Um, so just so you know at home, if we can see this, we don't need to zoom or anything, but um, she has wet stuff on her jeans. It's not from her. <laughs> she tells me it's from animals. Right. 
Yeah. We're gonna go, uh, that's my story, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I like that story. Okay. So Sandra, tell us about Wild, Wild Animal Safari for people who haven't been there. Okay, so we're not a zoo, we're an animal park, so we've really encouraged customer interaction with our animals and education, and you can drive through, it's right under five miles, mm -hmm. and feed anything that comes up to your car, you can... Anything? Anything. Like just a stray guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had anyone really desperate that like puts on animal costume and is like, oh please, I want one of those pellets? Not yet, but I had somebody run past me to get into the drive through part of the park. Like, yeah. they tried to charge me. Wait, they tried to charge you? Yeah, like because they wanted to walk through the park instead oh. of be inside the vehicle. I, I promise they... you, you want to be inside your vehicle. Sure. <laughs> they are much bigger than you. But what animals might people see there? Okay, so we've got in the drive through we've got our camels who mm -hmm. have so much stinking personality. Yeah. And then we've got zebras and z-donks and all sorts of watusis, which are like huge South American Texas longhorns, but not Texas. Yeah. So, <laughs> all there's right. about 700 out there, 700 animals. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. I, yeah, I would like to see one of those animals. Okay, what do you want to bring out first? I got, I've got bears. I've got a kangaroo. Which one do you want? Let's go kangaroo, kangaroo. first. Kangaroo. How do I get back in here? So, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, don't go far. <laughs> It's happy in here because it likes pouches, right? She's yeah. This is Sid. She's in her pouch. I can take her out. Yeah. We can. Will try. she behave? I don't know. Then perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you need so, help or does it? What's the biting situation? She doesn't bite, but you better watch that tail because she's got an attitude with it. We'll just let her do it herself. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Sid. Come here. It's okay. I'm a kangaroo whisperer. Okay. <laughs> Hi, hi, Sid. <laughs> how do you, how are you supposed to interact with a kangaroo? So when you get up really close to her, she might do this little shaky thing, and yeah. she's just checking you out. She okay. kind of acts like she's cold a little bit, but she's really not. She's okay. just checking you out. Yeah, that's how girls interact with me normally. Right? If, ow, shaky she's and cold. Biting me. She's biting. <laughs> Am I supposed to help you? Nope. Should we be done with Sid? We're done with Sid. We're done with Sid. <laughs> Sid's not having it. Oh, yeah. she left presents in there. Sid left some presents go, in the go. pouch. There you go. <laughs> I said we'd try it. I didn't make any promises. You know how like in the moment where conflict hits and you find out if you're fight or flight? <laughs> I'm not fight. Okay. Or help. All right. You want to do the... Bears. Yeah, let's do the bears. Okay. Do I have bears? I can't figure this thing out. So I'll give you... This one's been springing a leak, so you can hold that one. Okay. So, <laughs> so these are bears. Babies. So how old are they? Ten days. So... At birth, they're about six to eight ounces. They've already doubled their weight. Yeah? So we're at 12 ounces now. How big do they get? About 450, 500 pounds. That's nuts. It's big. So, what you do be they... okay? What's that? Are you okay? I'm totally cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, are they blind? Yes. Yeah. So their eyes are, they're not blind, but their eyes are closed. Yeah, not for a life. Right. <laughs> um, their ears are pinned back so they can't hear. Yeah. And their back legs have no function. They just lay flat. They can do like this low crawl push. You uh -huh. see how he's pushing off? So, and that's how they, they really can't get around. They're completely helpless. Yeah. So, and they're that way for about six to eight weeks, which works out good because they're bored in January in the wild. Mom's in her dormant hibernation. Yeah. So this works out good for mom. But do you have to become mom a little bit? Yeah. You feed them? All the time. How often do they about get fed? every hour and a half. It takes about 20 minutes to feed and then 10 minutes to bite, or bite. I'm sorry, he's biting. 10 minutes, 10 minutes to burp and then uh -huh. another good five, 10 minutes to poop them. To poop they them. They don't even do that on their own. Wait, so. you have to like massage it out? A little bit, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, he's... Oh my goodness gracious! Okay. Aren't they great. So, um, how long how long will they be able to take for them to be like a recognizable like cub? 
Um, about two and a half months, they're cute as a stinking button because yeah. that's when they start using their back legs a lot more and they do this jumping thing because yeah. they don't know how to walk right. So they're, that's the most rewarding stage. They're hilarious. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see the next thing. Is the next um, animal? I don't, I'm so scared. I'm not going to lie to you. This thing has been hissing at me and snapping at me. I'm so scared. <laughs> Do you hear it back there? Yeah. I'm scared. What? <laughs> Should we bring it out or not? Yeah, let's go for it. Will you hold what? this? Wait. Let me try. Will Let me this try. animal want bears? Yeah, but we're going to pass that off to Travis. When okay, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> She's scared. Okay. Sure? Make it happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> here, here. Th <laughs> so, you don't the, want to hold all of them? No, no. <laughs> so, how's it hurry going? Up, hurry up, don't be gone long. Be quick. <laughs> okay, so we'll make this one quick. So, what's really good about this guy right now is he's cold. Yeah. So, which is not ideal. We don't try to make them cold, but I'm lucked out. He's cold, so his yeah. metabolism is slowing down. He's not so energetic? Nope. That's your hope. Do you hear him hissing? Yeah. Can y'all hear that? Yeah. yeah. Freaking me out. <laughs> how do how do alligators generally respond to live audiences? About like this. Yeah. I'm thinking this is a healthy response. And what is that? Electrical tape? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we should use a little more too. <laughs> so Travis made this joke. He wanted to keep it live for everybody and keep it real. So he's like, I'm just gonna do a little bit of electrical tape. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Duct tape it, like, wire it shut. Now, is this, a, is this an alligator that grows more, or is it full no, no, size? No, 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 he's, no, 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 he will get, uh, oh, like, 500 pounds is what, what they can hit, 18 feet long. Will you um, bring him on when he's full size? Sure, if you hold him. If I hold him? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably fair. That's probably fair. Yeah. But I'll, is this true that they can't um, open their mouth? They don't have a lot of muscles to open? Not to open. But to clamp down, Yeah, sure. this tape, can. he's got no control over his mouth right now. What he's yeah. going to hurt me with when he decides he wants to hurt me is his tail back here. Yeah. So this is a propeller. This is how we get around in the water. This uh -huh. is, and this is how we fight. And then once he starts whipping me, he'll just start rolling. Whipping and rolling? Whipping and rolling. I love that song. <laughs> Isn't that a Lil Wayne song? I, I don't know. I'm just kidding, I don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> you just want to be done with this, don't you? Yeah, I'm ready for that. Let's done. be done. Okay. That's Sandra Morgan with Wild Animal Safari. We'll be back with Candy Coburn. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by BYO Pizza. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We have a great musical guest. She is, she travels around. People knows who she is. That wasn't correct grammar. <laughs> People knows who she is. Our musical guest tonight is Candy Coburn.
Say it's Say it's you'll find that's all we need Well, in a world where there's no guarantees I'm thinking this might be a better plan Some peace, some love and harmony Well, that sounded pretty good to me Let's all get it started So waiting, come on to get it, or it's Hey, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Just so you know, 10% of our box office proceeds will go to a great organization here in the Ozarks called Big Brothers Big Sisters. Yeah! Keep watching. Up next is a great TV show on Fox KRBK. We'll see you next week. Catering for the show brought to you by Big Whiskey's Restaurant and Bar.